I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This chuck is in fine shape. I don't think it really needs to be disassembled, but I need to show you how to disassemble the chuck. We've talked before about having a pin spanner to disassemble the, the chuck, and I've never felt the need to make one. Well, this one I can't get apart without a pin spanner, and rather than improvise, I'm just going to go ahead and make one. Now, to make a chuck spanner, all you really need is a piece of steel. This is a scrap piece. It's been hanging around for a while. I don't use it for anything else. It's going to be just about perfect for a pin spanner. I can drill two holes in it, drive a couple of pins in it, and be good to go. I can also use this same pin spanner on a variety of other chucks because with a pin spanner, all you need to have is one permanently fixed pin and then one pin that you move around to set distances. Center to center on the holes is 11 16 of an inch. Now all I need to do is find a pin that will fit this. I wonder where I'm going to come up with a pin. I have a bin full of miscellaneous nails. Those appear to be too big. A little bit of trial and error. And we have a pin that will fit just perfectly. There's an advantage to having a multiple stash of different size pins, nails, screws, washers. Makes it so that you don't have to spend a whole lot of time searching. Through trial and error, I've discovered that this nail, which is 0.118 inches in diameter, fits perfectly into the drive holes on the chuck. 0.118 is just slightly smaller than 1 of an inch, which is 0.125. So if I drill a 1 8 inch hole, that pin's going to slop around in there and not work very well. This is a 760 force drill bit. That's as close as I've got. So I'm going to use a 760 force and then grind down this pin so that it'll fit into the pocket. Thank you. 
set my mics at 0 0.705. strike a line in the surface and somewhere along that line I need to put another prick punch mark and it's just a matter of punching a hole through couple of prick punches on the end there so that they expand the end of the pin kind of rivets itself into this pocket and now we have a spanner wrench if you have any suggestions for a new video questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel just drop a note in the comments you know I read them all thanks for watching